At least 37 people have died in South Korea and thousands have been evacuated after heavy rains triggered flash flooding and landslides. The deaths, including nine people whose bodies were pulled out of a flooded tunnel where 15 vehicles became trapped in muddy water. Days of torrential rain across South Korea have caused deadly flooding and landslides. For now, rescue efforts are focusing on this tunnel in the city of Cheongyu. This bus is one of 15 vehicles believed to be stuck in the flooded underpass. Nearly 400 rescue workers are involved in the search operation. We are draining the water right now, but the mud is making it more difficult. Across the country, dozens have died, some remain missing, and thousands have had to evacuate their homes. Residents have had no choice but to watch in horror as buildings were destroyed, and in some cases, landslides swept away whole homes. During this time of year, rainfall isn't unusual in the country, but the destruction it's brought is worrying. Generally, most of the world is not prepared for these excess flooding events, um, which will, of course, become worse. The climate is changing, and we have more energy in the atmosphere. You, a rough rule of thumb is for every one degree rise in temperature, there's 10 percent more rainfall certainly in the Northern Hemisphere. So that tells you already that you will be getting more rainfall. More torrential rain is forecast for parts of South Korea over the coming days. The country must be prepared for this as it continues to deal with the aftermath of this disaster. Aisha Zahid, Sky News.